Okay, so here's my all-band doublet antenna being held aloft by a fiberglass Shakespeare Wonder Pole 20 footer. Um, it's being fed with a, uh, a length of TV twin lead down to my radio where it goes directly into it. There's an internal antenna tuner in this radio. Um, so each leg goes down. I've just got the, that leg tied to the truck. Uh, I've got another leg held in place by a stake out there in the yard. This is just set up for, just for demonstration, not, not uh, the ideal portable operating conditions, obviously. This shows how I'm holding the pole up. I just have a piece of, no, oh, about two foot section of PVC pipe duct taped and super glued or epoxied to a about um, looks like maybe a 3 8 inch uh, steel rod that's about three or four feet long I just push that into the earth and then set the I just set this this antenna pole right down into the PVC pipe it rests on the ground uh, holds the thing up it's never fallen over on me so it's uh, it's in good shape. Why are cats always attracted to ham radio? I'll never understand it. This is the end of the hot leg of the doublet. I mean hot, it means it goes to the center conductor ultimately of the radio. I've got it marked with red shrink insulation. Just a dog bone antenna uh, insulator there. The other end, end of the antenna, the other leg of the antenna is uh, marked with green shrink insulation from Harbor Freight. So um, it just helps me, if I ever need to set this thing up as a sloper, I'm not setting it up as a sloper now, I've got an inverted V uh, configuration, but if I ever needed to set it up as a sloper, I would know which end is the hot end of the antenna, and I would try to put that up uh, high, and the other end, the counterpoise end, I would want to put low. So that's the reason I've marked those. That's how the antenna is held up, or the, the center of the antenna is held up. I've made a, uh, by taking a T, piece of T PVC and super gluing it to a small piece of PVC with a cap super glued to it. Um, and then the TV twin lead just goes right through the center of this T junction PVC, and this just sits this antenna, uh, the center of it, just sets sets in the little holder here. So that is all held in place very easily by the fact that, sorry about that, I have a hole in the top of the cap where uh, the hole will allow the top section of the antenna, top three feet of the antenna to go through it, but sections beyond that are too big in diameter to go through the hole that I've cut in the top of this cap. So it holds it in place. So a 20 foot pole, I end up being about 16, 17 feet up in the air and it works real well. That's how I've actually made the center of the, of the uh, doublet. I took a hot, a red hot hacksaw blade and plunged it through the middle of a plastic dog bone antenna. Um, and I, then uh, used a drill, small drill bit to router out the rest of, of that. Put the TV twin lead through it and then attached it to the wires that are coming in from each side and covered that entire thing with shrink insulation on each side just to hold everything in place so it doesn't slip. Uh, this gives a lot of strain relief. And there goes the cat again. And uh, so it's, it's perfectly secure. You don't have to worry about wires bending or uh, being strained or whatever, things that you normally have to worry about sometimes with, with antennas. This is the little antenna winder I designed and made. Um, the TV twin lead slips into this little slot here, goes into the middle. So the center conductor of the antenna goes in there. And then, uh, and then you can just wind the, the legs of the antenna on each side and also the ropes that are attached to the legs of the antenna. 
and the whole thing just fits in a very nice neat little package then and it goes into one of these little harbor freight um, tool bags that are only cost six or seven bucks and uh, I keep some stakes in there to stake the ends of the legs down and that sort of thing so overall it's I mean I can put this thing up in way less than 10 minutes uh, it covers all bands doesn't have any feed line losses uh, you don't have to worry about tuning it uh, you just have to have an antenna tuner at your radio um, so a lot of the, using a doublet obviously takes care of a lot of problems that you normally have to deal with if you're dealing with loaded uh, antennas or tuned dipoles or that sort of thing and uh, it's much you don't have to worry about the right counterpoise you've got the right counterpoise automatically with the second leg of the uh, antenna um, you the only thing you have to worry about with a doublet is don't get this feed line near metal so uh, as long as you do that uh, you can be on the ground it can be in the air it can be going through trees don't get it near metal that's the only that's really the only rule for a doublet so um, works pretty well you get good reports on it and uh, uh, did my first podac activation this last week I got 41 uh, QSOs in two hours so I was pretty pretty satisfied uh, those were all the way from British Columbia to Florida to Massachusetts, uh, Arizona, Nevada, uh, from Ohio, and I was operating in Ohio. So, worked pretty well. Okay, enjoy, thank you.